I'm gonna go to Forever and see if I can find like a chill outfit. Some more like t-shirts and stuff. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you can tell from the title, is a Test It Thursday. So for this video, I'll be testing out the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup Foundation. I'm going to put the retail price right here, but if I'm not mistaken, I paid $44 for this foundation. And it comes in a multitude of shades. I will also put that information of how many shades right here. And I'm going to let you guys know the description of this foundation before I begin. This is the box it comes in. And on the back it says, Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup for All Skin Types. I am oily combination. I don't really get dry. I'm just going to say oily normal. I get this combination too. I get oily right in my nose, and especially the T-zone area, I can say. And then my face is normal everywhere else. My chin gets oily because I have pimples that won't go away down here. You guys know any powder or any makeup, I mean, is it skincare powder that can get rid of these leftover bumps? Please let me know down below in the comments. It would really save my life. But yeah, this foundation is a 15 hour staying power, look fresh and flawless. Through heat, humidity, non-stop activity. Oh, that was fine. Hey, be a wrap around here. Won't change color, smudge, or come off on clothes. Lightweight and so comfortable, you won't believe it's on. Medium, beautiful coverage, won't clog pores. It's oil controlling, it's oil free, fragrance free, dermatologist tested, and then it just say want to keep out of eyes. Of course, you don't put foundation in your eyes. But that is what the box says about the foundation. I'm about to apply this foundation to my skin, but before I move on to applying the foundation to my face, please hit the subscribe button down below if you are new to my channel to become one of my official streets. You mean the world to me, and yeah, let's get started with this tested Thursday. I brought y'all in closer so y'all can see a closer look of how this foundation applies to my skin. So, let's roll with the video officially this time. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is, of course, primer your skin. My favorite primer at the moment, which is a drugstore primer, is the F Mineral Infused Primer. This is in clear. It's like a silicone-based primer, so it fills in my pores a little bit. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can find a better primer. That's in the expensive one, but I think as a drugstore primer, this primer works. So well, it makes my skin so smooth. Oh my God, so smooth. At the moment I put it on my face, my hands just glide. You see that? My hands just glide. So I'm applying this primer. I think my brows are off camera. If you guys would like an updated brow tutorial, please let me know down below in the comment section. Now, I showed y'all the foundation in the box. Now, I'm going to show y'all the foundation outside the box. I got a little primer on it. This is what it looks like. It does not come with a pump. When you open the top, of course, it is just the top and the foundation. So you have to pour it on the back of your hand to warm it up if you like, or you can just put your middle finger or whatever finger big enough to catch all of it and apply it directly to your face. My favorite technique is just shaking it up <laughs> first and then just using my finger to apply it directly to my face. If it came with a pump, it would have been so lovely because I have a pump for my Lancome foundation. Makes it easier to just smear across my face or apply to my face before smearing it out with my finger. But it does not stop me from using this Estee Lauder foundation because it is a pretty good foundation. 
And like I said, I'm in the color sandalwood. And I'll put the description of the color right across the video. And as you can see, I'm just applying it with my finger first. Kind of getting a nice base before using a beauty blender and or a brush. But for this makeup, makeup tutorial, for this tested out Thursday, I will use a beauty blender on one side and a foundation brush on the other. Okay, so my favorite foundation brush is the Elf um, Ultimate Blending Brush. This is what it looks like. I never own a Morphe brush, but it just reminds me of one of the Morphe brushes I really, really want. So one day I hope I get my hands on it. But what I like to do when I blend my foundation out with my brush is go in with my hair to store rose water and glycerin spray and spray the head of the brush. And then blend it out. I'm going to blend my right side, which is your left, with the brush. Like the packaging said, this is a medium to build up a coverage, so it's not going to cover everything unless you apply a very thick layer. And me, I take my time, so I do apply at least two layers of this foundation. If I want a full coverage, but if I want a natural coverage, I go in with one. As you can see, it did not really cover my spot right here. And it is blending down to my neck pretty well. Right. Make sure you get up on your edges too. If you gotta redo your edges, just redo your edges. But this is me blending out the foundation with the brush. And as you can see, some parts down here are still showing and peeking through. But then remember, I applied it with my fingers, so I kind of blended or took away a lot of product before actually having a chance to blend. On this side, I'm going to use my Real Technique Miracle Complexion Fun to blend out the foundation. I feel like with the fun, I'm getting almost the exact same coverage. It looks a little bit more natural or pushed into my skin because, of course, since it is damp, it is taking up excess product but also melting the products into my skin so i don't really see a difference in it i don't really have dark spots on this side so i can't tell if it hit anything i do have a mold on this side and the mold is peeking through a little bit but i like my little beauty mark but i'm going to apply another layer anyway Oops. The second layer, it has hidden up that spot under my eye a whole lot better. I honestly preferably use the brush over the beauty blender when I apply this foundation. Because it's just giving me more of a coverage while still looking natural. See, as you can see, like all the product is really on the front. So if you want more of a natural, natural look with less coverage, I say come in with the beauty blender. But if you want a natural look with more coverage, I say use the brush. As you can see, it matches my skin perfectly. It may be a tad bit warmer orange right now. But I did buy this in the summertime or heading to the summertime, so I started to have a tan. But ain't nothing concealer and all that stuff can be. I'm gonna let this sit on my face, and um, right now 
I have applied this at 1227. And I'm gonna wear this practically all day because I have some one to make and to make and my friends also have one little get together. So I'm gonna show you guys my makeup throughout the day. But I'm going to complete the rest of my face off camera and I will be back with my complete thoughts. Hey y'all, I'm back. Yeah, I'm, my face is done. The foundation looks pretty good. What I'm going to say about the foundation is it does not cover all my pores, but it could be the primer as well. Um, but as you can see, my face matched my neck pretty well. My face still looks pretty matte with the highlight I applied to my face. I did record this makeup look, so be on the lookout for this makeup tutorial as well. So right now, it is officially 2.48. I know. I've been filming and doing makeup for a very long time. Don't judge me. When you want to make it to be perfected, you're going to take your time. But I'm going to wear this foundation almost all day. And I'm going to let you guys know my final thoughts towards the end of the night. So yeah, guys want to know more about this foundation then stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm checking in. I'm headed to the mall. This is my face in natural light. Let's put it down good to me. I'm going to insert some pictures. I think I did a flat test. If I did, I will do it when I get back. But, yeah, I'm going to check with y'all a little hey bit y'all, I'm back from one of the ends. Let me fix my light. I'm back from one of the ends. It is now... 503 and I believe my face is still holding up pretty well. I got like approximately six compliments today while I was at the mall on this makeup look. So my face must be beat to the guards. As you can see, I still have that mattness also mixed in with that skin look. I'm gonna grab my mirror real quick so I can get a better look. Yeah, my face is still matte. Only thing that's popping is my highlight. I'm not getting oily just yet. I normally don't get oil with this foundation until like the very end of the day. So, so far so good. As you can see, it's not breaking up or anything. But if you come up closer, you can see my pores. So I don't think it's the foundation, it is the primer. I need to find a primer that does fill in my pores a little bit better. But as far as everything else goes, my face is still holding up strong. So I'll be back in a couple of hours and we will see how it is continuously holding up hey y'all it is approximately 803 i'm gonna put the correct time somewhere on the video but this is my face right now i'm at a friend's apartment she is having a little get together we're doing a little grown woman thing so my face will be on for a very long time but i will give y'all my last finishing touch before i go to bed so just stay tuned so it is the end of the night. It is approximately 12 o'clock. I'm gonna put the correct time right here in the video somewhere. But this is my face after 12 hours. Remember, this is a 15 hour wear foundation, and this is my face now. My nose is quite oily, but I can't blame it. My nose I always get oily. I haven't found the exact perfect primer just yet, but I do believe for this foundation it held up pretty well you get closer i started to break up a little bit around my mouth but i was laughing an awful lot and i ate an awful lot i feel so guilty right now so i think that's why i broke up around my mouth area but you can see everywhere else on my face is quite matte so would i give this foundation a thumbs up absolutely do i recommend it absolutely is it worth the price absolutely so I don't know what you guys think. Y'all let me know down below if you think this product is held up good enough. I believe it. But this does conclude the end of my video. I'm about to take this makeup off and probably film again. Who knows? For tomorrow. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Before you leave, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below to become my bitches streets. And until next time, be yourself. Bye. See you with the bill like there you go. Coming in on the one, no time for the two. Three, six, nine, she fine, I'm a two. Funk in the rock, I'm a job, a computer. She hit the shoe fist, don't mind if I do. Just climb to the blue, into the goal. Only thing I never did was spit to the mold. They did what they told. I did what I felt like. Hulk Hogan, their guitar solo on the belt like. Only intro unnecessary.